Today's gospel reading consists of two stories. One story divided into two parts, and the other story sandwiched in between these parts. That middle story, the story of the hemorrhaging woman, a woman whose name, sadly, we do not know. This story functions as more than a dramatic pause before we discover the fate of Jairus' daughter, an other female whose name, sadly, we do not know. The way Jesus engages this woman is the key to understanding what lies at the heart of these two stories, but also of Jesus' public ministry as a whole. We read about the hemorrhaging woman in the Gospels according to Matthew, Mark, and Luke, but it is only here in Mark that we get what I have always found to be three striking details. Only Mark tells us she had suffered greatly at the hands of many doctors, and she had spent all that she had. Yet she was not helped, but only grew worse. I think of how these details might have struck so many of you watching at home now. Many of you are not where you want to be with your health. Many of you have seen so many doctors that, frankly, you just don't want to see anymore. Many of you have spent most, or all, or even more than all the money you earned in your many years of hard work. Many of you, after all this, feel no better than when you started this journey. Some of you may even feel worse. It is to you that Jesus is speaking right now. When this woman touches Jesus' cloak in the hope of finding healing, he does not spin around in anger. He spins around because in his life, he is not interested in being a gumball machine that spits out cures to diseases. He insists on an encounter, a chance to look into someone's eyes, a chance to treat the person that he sees like, well, like a person and not simply the host of some illness. This is why he wants to find this woman. This is why he is walking to the home of Jairus in the first place. He wants an encounter. Sure, to think of Jesus this way today, to think of him as someone who wants to encounter us, to stare in our eyes, to take us by the hand, and to help us stand up and walk around, Thinking this way will prompt some to react, as did the crowd in front of Jairus' house. People will ridicule you, me, us. But above the roar of that laughter breaks through the soft voice of Jesus, who says to each of us the same thing he said to Jairus. Do not be afraid. Just have faith. And so with faith, with the faith of Jairus, with the faith of his unnamed daughter, with the faith of this unnamed woman, let us prepare the bread and wine. Let us prepare ourselves to encounter Jesus Christ, who always desires to be with us, to heal us, to transform us.